All right, welcome back everyone. In this video, I'm gonna talk about sizing our reactors. We're gonna be we're gonna talk about sizing our plug flow reactors, our CSTRs, our batch reactors, using conversion. Okay. Now, keyword the keyword here is conversion. In your uh, in the fifth edition of Elements of Chemical Reaction Engineering by H. Scott Fogler, the first five chapters are a build up. They're a build up. A build up you're basically making an algorithm to size reactors size reactors in terms of conversion okay so the first five chapters are going to be sizing your reactors using conversion okay the next the chapters after that are going to be simply using moles and molar flow rates the first five chapters are going to give you analytical solutions using conversion after that it's just it's uh, basically MATLAB or Python or Ma or uh, whichever. After that, it's just going to be an ODE solver. So the first five chapters, you're going to get analytical solutions. The first for the first five chapters, you will have analytical solutions. Analytical solutions. After that, you're probably going to switch to numerical solutions. Now, okay, before I before I go further, I just wanna I just want you to look at the notation that I'm going to be using. This is the same notation, the one right here. This is the same notation used by um, H, used in H. Scott Fogler. I have my initial moles and inlet flow rates represented by A sub zero, A sub naught. And my outlet and final, my outlet and final, final and outlet are represented as just N sub A, okay? Final moles, outlet moles are represented as NA, FA. In, initial and inlet, NA0, FA0. And yeah, X is going to be used as, X is going to be used as the conversion, the symbol for conversion, okay? <clears throat> Before we talk about sizing reactors, we need to first define what conversion is, right? So from a mass, from a mass and energy balance class, you know that conversion in a reaction or even from a gen chem class conversion in a reaction is um, moles reacted moles reacted divided by moles fed okay they, these could be the moles fed to a batch reactor these could be the moles fed to a flow reactor so for a batch reactor let's see how we're gonna deal it how, how we're gonna deal with the batch reactor our conversion x is going to be written as the initial moles minus the final moles. I'm assuming that the reaction is A goes to B. So A is going to be the reactant. A is going to be the reactant. Okay. <clears throat> now this is the uh, conversion in terms of definition. This can be rewritten as Na equals Na naught one minus x okay so now I, so now i have the expression for my final moles in terms of inlet molar inlet moles fed and how much conversion i have achieved and if i were to write it in a differential form d n of a then d n of a will be written as negative n a zero times dx i hope you guys can see that I'm going to be using, I'm going to be plugging this into my design equations. So please pause for a while and make sure that you understand this. It's just algebra. It is just algebra and simple calc 1. For a flow reactor, okay. How about a flow reactor? For a flow reactor, we're still going to have conversion. Conversion in terms of how much has reacted. Inlet minus outlet divided by what's fed. And this will be once again, this will be rearranged to FA is equal to FA naught 1 minus X. And in the differential form, this is also going to be written as DF, of a, DF sub A negative FA sub 0 DX. I hope you guys can see that. This is nothing but, this is nothing but simple algebra and a teeny tiny bit of calc 1 nothing more all right pause the video for a second and make sure you've fully absorbed this sec this segment
Okay, now let's move on. All right, let me zoom out a little. Here, here I have my design equations. And these design equations are just taken from the uh, back of chapter one. So these design equations can be found in the back of chapter one in Fogler, all right? The design equations in terms of the molar expressions, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> the DNA, DT, volume, these are all in terms of moles, and I'm using the same notation as Fogler, okay? Now we want to get rid of, we want equations in terms of conversion, okay? We want equations in terms of conversion. So we got to get rid of DNA, we got to get rid of FA0 minus FA, DF of A goes away, and DF of A goes away again. So the first one, I hope you guys can see, this is just a simple substitution of these two. After doing a simple substitution, you get... Okay, let's see, which color scheme should I use? I'm going to use pink. So negative NA initial, I'm going to... All right, DX dt is equal to rav that's our first one now let's look at this now let's look at the csgr v okay so i can replace f of a by f a zero and uh, let's just do the algebra i'm just going to do the algebra with you guys because um why not f a zero one minus x i've just replaced i've just replaced f a zero with the uh, conversion expression and this is divided by the negative rate expression mm, oh, i switched colors my bad and if i expand this if i were to expand this and finish the algebra i'll simply have i will simply have f a zero times x divided by negative r of a all right, this is for the CSDR. This is for the CSDR. And uh, let me just rearrange this. Okay, this one can. Okay, um, yeah, computers, technology. Okay, all right, and I'm gonna just like, just list it up. Once again, you guys are welcome. You guys are getting a free, free blooper reel blooper reel okay real my english is a little rusty and df of a will become now this is going to be akin this is going to be akin to that expression so we're going to have negative f a zero actually let me just clean it up a little i'm just gonna get rid of this i hope you guys have i hope you guys understand the algebra so i'm just gonna get this up here all right have fun all right, much cleaner, much cleaner. F A zero D X D V times R A. Okay. And yeah, just a simple substitution of D F of A. And the final equation for the P B R. <coughs> now you can see that the design equations for the P B R <coughs> excuse me. The P B R and the P F R are similar. The only difference is the uh the reaction rate wait a second the reaction rate here you have a prime here and instead of a volume here you have a weight because the uh, pbrs are usually the the sizing parameter for pbrs is usually the weight of the catalyst which is why we're using w instead of v and ra prime is reaction per weight of catalyst rather than reaction per volume so we're gonna go over PBRs in a separate video. For now, we have our design equations. Yay! Okay, we have our design equations in terms of conversion. What's the next step? The next step are the next step I'm gonna show you is gonna be the expression for these rate laws. We need expressions for these rate laws. <coughs> and we need to know them. We need to know rate expression as a function of the conversion we need to know rate expression rate law the rate law must be equal to some function some function of conversion because we're gonna perform our integration we're gonna perform our integration based on the desired conversion so this is gonna be this is gonna be our next step in the algorithm now we have to 
now we have to come up with rate laws now we have to find the rate laws and uh, express them in terms of conversion find rate laws express them in terms of conversion <coughs> okay sizing reactors first five chapters and you're gonna use these can be solved analytically <coughs> sorry my bad and yeah we came up with the definition of conversion and we wrote conversion expressions for both a batch reactor and a flow reactor this was nothing more than simple algebra some some simple gen cam some simple algebra and some calc 1 calc 1 okay and then we rewrote the design equations in the in the in the second column in the second column i have my design equations in terms of moles in the last column i, I have rewritten them in terms of conversion i hope you guys can see that uh now you have the dx term here dx term here dx term here no more mole terms we're going to be performing integration we're going to be performing integration in terms of conversion and in order to do that we need our rate laws as a function of conversion so i hope this video was helpful and i'll see you guys in the upcoming videos where we're going to talk about rate laws